Welcome to Chemical Branch AI. Today's topic is Caustic Soda. In today's video, we will understand through a flow sheet diagram how caustic soda is manufactured in the industry. Further in the video, we will learn about all these points. So let's start. First of all, let us know what is caustic soda. Caustic soda, also known as sodium hydroxide, is a strong alkaline chemical compound. It is a white, odorless, and highly corrosive substance that can absorb moisture from the air. And this is its properties and uses. You can take a screenshot of it. And if we talk about the method of production, then in today's video, we will learn how caustic soda is made through electrolyte process method or diaphragm electrolytic cell and mercury electrolytic cell method. And when caustic soda is produced through this method, the following reactions take place. Note them down as well. And for making caustic soda, brine solution, which should contain at least 10 to 15 percent salt and soda ash is required for purification. Now, we will understand the working process of caustic soda production through step-by-step -step flow sheet diagram. Now you have to watch the video carefully. First, the brine solution is sent to the brine purifier reactor equipped with an agitator for mixing. In this reactor, soda ash is used to purify the brine solution by removing impurities like calcium, magnesium, and iron salts, which play a role in impurities during caustic soda production. After the purification process, when the brine solution contains 25% to 28% salt, it is filtered to remove residual impurities using a filter. The filtered solution is then heated in a steam equipment using steam energy. After the heating process, the brine solution undergoes electrolysis in a diaphragm cell. Through this process, sodium chloride in the solution breaks down into sodium and chlorine icons, while water decomposes into hydroxide and hydrogen icons. Sodium and hydroxide icons combine to form caustic soda. Chlorine icons migrate to the anode due to their negative charge, and hydrogen icons move to the cathode due to their positive charge. As a result, chlorine and hydrogen are obtained as byproducts of the reaction. The obtained solution in the diaphragm cell contains approximately 10 to 12 percent caustic soda and other unreacted reactants. To increase the concentration of caustic soda, the solution is processed through multiple effect evaporators which operate in a series or stage configuration. These evaporators evaporate the solvent, such as water, from the solution, increasing the concentration of caustic soda to around 50%. The solution obtained from the evaporators contains approximately 50% caustic soda, along with about 2% salt and 0.1 to 0.5% sodium hypochlorite. The solution is then sent to a centrifuge equipment, where caustic soda and solid particles are separated. Caustic soda without solid particles undergoes further purification, while the salt slurry is sent to a salt saturator for thermal treatment. After the salt saturator process, the brine solution is filtered and stored in a constant head feed tank. The brine solution from the constant head feed tank is evenly fed into the mercury cell, where it undergoes decomposition to produce caustic soda and sodium amalgam, and chloride is obtained at the anode electrode and stored separately, and the depleted brine obtained in the mercury cell, is recycled back to the salt saturator for reuse. The solution containing caustic soda and sodium amalgam from the mercury cell is directed to the denuding tower. In the denuding tower, here sodium amalgam reacts with water to produce caustic soda. The solution obtained from the tower, known as caustic soda solution, has a higher concentration of caustic soda and undergoes filtration. The final solution obtained has a caustic soda concentration of approximately 70% and is either stored for sale or subjected to further treatment to increase its concentration.